tell me what were the circumstances of, of Ms. Tikhanovskaya fleeing and coming across to you? Did you know in advance? What, what's the situation that, there? I didn't know in advance. Uh, I tried to reach her yesterday evening, tried to talk uh, directly via staff or, or, or embassy. It was not possible for a few hours. Uh, then I understood that she visited the electoral committee with her lawyer, who was submitting complaint about account, uh, Walt's accounts. Uh, lawyer left and she stayed. And in general, she uh, totally spent around seven hours in this detention. So after that, I understood that she was given some options, uh, not too many options, basically, to flee the country or to be other consequences which were not uh, very permissive. She had, uh, and she has, a Lithuanian national visa, which allows uh, her to stay in our country without any restrictions. Her children were already here, so her decision was just to flee, to go to Lithuania. And the main, main so to say, news that she is really safe, reunited with her children, and uh, we're looking forward for next steps, what she will uh, be planning to do. Well, Foreign Minister, you know, you describe a situation, you cryptically say she was given not very great and not very many options, either to flee or face other consequences. We know what's happened to her husband. We know what's happened to countless um, opponents and democracy uh, activists. Uh, her husband is in jail. And as you said, she had, she had sent her children away because she had had threats even before the election. What does this tell you about the state of affairs in your neighboring uh, Belarus? And, well, let's start by that. What, what, how do you assess the results of the election on Sunday? Uh, definitely, we cannot uh, uh, call them uh, transparent, uh, democratic, uh, and uh, definitely uh, free, uh, because of very objective reasons, you know. Uh, there were almost uh, none with regard to the uh, international observers. Uh, the media was also not uh, uh, available because uh, they were not given accreditation. Internet was cut. Uh, two two uh, candidates uh, to the presidency were in, in custody, so to say. So definitely there's enough uh, arguments to say that the process is not, not democratic. So uh, the results are as well quite doubtful. You shouldn't be experts to doubt these results. And basically, uh, government authorities took the decision to use this power against peaceful protesters, which is definitely excessive force, because they were, by far, they were not aggressive. They were not sm smashing windows. They were not burning cars. And they definitely were needed just to be listened. So uh, disrespect to own people, the citizens, it's something worrisome. And uh, I don't know how it will mm -hmm. be developed, but if they continue like this, it should be some political consequences. 